Hi, welcome to Looney Logic Tarot. I'm Gigi, and this is going to be a general love reading. Please keep in mind, though, other things may, can, may come through. Um, if spirit feels like it needs to be addressed, it will be addressed. So, for the week of April 19th through the 25th, 2021, okay? Please don't take what resonates. If it's not your story, please do not try to make it fit. Don't forget to check your other placements. Please keep in mind as well. Everything is subject to free will, yours, anyone you are in, you are connected to in any fashion, as well as the will of the divine. Nobody is free from law of cause and effect. And please never make any life-changing, altering decisions. Okay? Or moves based on any reading. Okay. I'm do yours a little bit different. Show me Virgo uh, for the week of April. 19th through the 25th in love. Show me Virgo, please. You can have Virgo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere, really, to be attracted to the title of the reading. Um, cross watchers are more than welcome. You might have to swap the roles, okay? But please, again, do not try to make it fit. Please show me Virgo in love. All right, they don't want me to take jumpers. They want me to shuffle three more times, cut the deck, take them from the bottom. Okay, and these are not read in reverse. That's one, two, and three. Okay, cut the deck. Take them from the bottom. All right, so courtship. One, money, unexpected income, main mail. despair you don't read these in reverse okay there's the end of the road here for you end of a journey end of a travel because of lies new path we're going to take these off to the side you know what no we're not we're going to take them Alrighty, let me, they want me to get a different deck for you, okay, my uh, harsher deck, okay, I don't know what's going on with that, so, someone is traveling to be with somebody, you could be traveling to see someone, or someone could be traveling to see you, it's a new budding romance, um, someone is lying about their income, you could be lying about their money, they could be lying about how much money they have, but there is, um, a secret rendezvous that's coming up either you're going you're doing this or someone else is you're you could be a man you could be a woman doesn't matter doesn't matter your gender gender identity preferences orientation okay but there is a man here a main male or a masculine figure here that is trying to take a new transformative path or they're lying about taking a path there's lovers here someone is in despair over losing a lover because of lies and deception, you might be traveling to be with somebody at a distance. You might travel for work. But there's an end of a road here for you. The end, the end of the line. Okay. All right. Show me courtship. Okay, we got nine of swords in reverse here. So someone doesn't think that someone's not even anxious because they're afraid, they don't think that they're going to get caught or somebody here is very um, mentally tormented over this this courtship this new budding romance famous courtship temperance could be with a Sagittarius healing needs to take place dating needs to take place or there's going to be the end of the road here show me the journey why is there a journey here what's this the hermit, that's you, Virgo. You're traveling. There's an end of a traveling or end, end of a road for you or end of a line for you. You're afraid of that. You're afraid someone's going to cut something off with you because of some type of lies. Possibly be about you at work or not working. You could, okay, you could be worried about your, come, you're losing your job possibly. You're losing money or finances somehow. Okay, we've got the Magician in the reverse. Virgo, Gemini energy. It just came out. You also have the Four of uh, Coins here. Four of Pentacles here. Capricorn energy, but holding on. You could be... Someone could be... Okay. 
you might okay so you might be going to you might you you're manipulating somebody you're holding on to somebody via manipulation virgo and you might be paying for okay you might be paying for sex at a distance or you might be doing this while you're supposedly at work but you're manipulating you're playing games here you're putting your hand in the cookie jar while at the same time offering healing show me the unexpected income two of swords needing to make a decision very clear-cut decision about your work but where this money is going you're also lying about something or someone's lying to you show me unexpected income please Ace of Wands, new romance. You need to make a decision about love, passion, and sex. Also, someone could be pregnant or saying that they're pregnant. Someone also might be very vindictive, vindictive or scorned because you juggled them. Sagittarius very strongly. All right, tell me more about the, okay. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Very painful, painful ending due to betrayal. Someone, you or someone that you may be dealing with is lying to you. There's a painful ending that's coming because someone might have gotten somebody pregnant on the outside of a relationship if you are in a relationship um someone also paid for sex as well someone's very manipulative someone might be paying somebody money to keep them quiet because she's covering her mouth to hush the lies you might have made the decision to end something with somebody a fire sign that either you're paying sex or paying you might have been having a work affair with a sagittarius and you ended it because you didn't want your main person, if you are in a relationship, to get wind of it. You're trying to heal something. Or you're trying to heal something. Yeah, but someone saw something. Someone's fine. The light is being shown on the truth here. And that's going to cause the ending. Show me the false person. Show me show me the false person, please. The will of fortune reverse. It's not going to go in your favor because of lies. You're, you can't move forward or stagnant. Uh, you're very stagnant right now because you are not telling the truth. The will of fortune is not going to go in your favor. Three of cups in the upright. Yeah. Celebration. You want celebration. There, there is third party here. And you're lying about it. There's a third person here. And that's why things are not going in your favor. Things can't move forward because you're not telling the truth about it. Or someone around you isn't telling the truth. Okay. You could be lying to a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And libra energy somebody here saw something the light is being shown on the truth about the third parties are cheating show me the main mail or actually tell me more about the false person the chariot in reverse yeah you can't move forward cancer pisces energy here you're not going to be allowed to move forward also be careful for our driving too fast if you've been drinking or don't drive when you've been drinking it's not gonna not gonna go for well for you or other people Okay, you also have the Seven of Wands. You're very defensive, too, about this. Or this uh, Fire Sign is very defensive. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, because they want to protect their industry or their work. But they're keeping a lot of secrets and very manipulative. I got it as you doing this, Virgo, but it very well could be another Virgo doing this or somebody else. Okay. Show me this main mail. Well, actually, tell me more about the false person. They're lying about third parties. They're lying about drinking and partying. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Somebody here wants to be single. Somebody here wants to be single. Yep, Nine of Swords. Someone's rushing in. Libra energy. Also, Gemini, Aquarius, but strong Libra. Rushing in, going off to bring the harsh, brutal truth. To bring it to light. With a Sun card here. Leo energy. Show me this main mail, please. Show me the main mail. Page of Wands in reverse, this person is very immature and very emotionally immature, very sexually immature, very directionless as well. We also have the world card here. This is a faded event. It's going to go, probably would go 50-50. We also have the emperor here in the reverse. Someone operates um, solely from ego, but a cycle needs to be completed with immaturity. Or you might be dealing with a very immature fire sign. I uh, got very strong um, Sagittarius or a Leo. We also have Taurus and Aries now, or Aries and Taurus. So there needs to be a completion of a cycle with, could be a husband, could be a father figure, but it doesn't have to be. A woman could very much be in her ego, could be an emperor. Um, there's going to be a completion of that because someone is very immature. You're being taken off of your pedest pedestal 
of a position that you thought that you once were. This also is a CEO of a, of a company or the boss of a company. Um, you might have ended it with, ended it with somebody you might have been having an affair with at work or somehow because you're actually married or connected from somehow in a, in a connection. It was an ego, it was feeding your ego. You might end up losing money or your job because of this. Show me the pathway, please. Nope, let it come out. Show me the pathway, please. Ten of Wands, it's hard. This is going to be a hard transformation to go into the light. You're carrying a lot of uh, wands, a lot of deception, or a lot of passion for other people. But this is a heavy burden for you to carry. You've got to start releasing it because the truth is going to come out one way or the other. Show me the pathway. Okay, we have the Five of Cups in reverse. Needing to uh, no longer cry over spilled milk, but also to... Get forgiveness, Scorpionic energy, Queen of Swords. You realize that someone, though, is going to be really pissed. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Also, it could even be Scorpio if they're really, really pissed off. But you could be done with a Gemini. They're going to be cutting you. They don't have one sword. They got two. They're ready to do battle. Okay. Show me this pathway, please. Tell me more. The Hangman in reverse. Pisces energy. Traitor. Someone who's very, very selfish. You are, for, are afraid that this person is going to cut you off because you were very much a traitor and you were selfish. Time is up. Time is up. You might have to change jobs because of this or you might lose a job because of betraying your marriage or your connection or being very selfish. Show me despair. Ace of Pentacles. Yep, in the reverse, you might be losing job offers, contract deals and stuff. Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo energy. That is your, you know, element. Losing opportunities, new jobs, new prospects because of this. Anything else? Because you wouldn't cut off communication. You've gotten the omen. You've been warned several times by the divine. You probably have been even warned about other people. But you didn't cut it off. Then you also have the um, eight of cups in reverse. You want to go back home. Someone might be kicking you out. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces because of this. Because you didn't cut off communication. And you want to return back home with forgiveness. Ace of Cups in reverse. No new love. No. Someone here is, is putting putting love into themselves. Now. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Ooh. Yeah. The Empress here was betrayed. Third party betrayal. Now she's stepping in her power. The Empress here. Taurus, Libra energy, but also Scorpio, Aquarius to me. Queen of Wands, you chose wrong. You ch you didn't pour love where it was belonged. You poured it into Queen of Wands, the other woman, a Sagittarius, an Aries, or a Leo. For something that was a lust or an ego boost. Mm. Show me the lovers. Strength card reverse. You didn't have the strength. It drained you of energy to have this going on. With this lover. But you didn't tame your lust. You were power tripping. You were ego tripping as well. Mm -hmm. And um, you couldn't tame your lust. Show me the lovers. Yep. And now we have the Empress in reverse. So now she's not going to take you back. You think, you think this Empress is weak? She's not. This Empress isn't weak. She just loves you. But even that runs dry. Justice is here. Five. All this conflict. All this... Games being played, rivalry, justice, karma is coming, Libra energy. Tell me more about the lovers, please. You think this Empress is weak, but she's not. What, okay, Nine of Cups here. You think that you'll get your wish? Because you're overindulged in lovers. Mm -mm. The Jinn, also be careful of attachments. Page of Cups in reverse. This person is not going to accept your offer, your little, small, petty little offer here of love, or you're not going to accept theirs. Cancer, Pisces, energy, strong Pisces. Mm -mm. It's insincere. It's emotional, immature. Anything else, please? The high, the, excuse me, the high Priestess in reverse. You should listen to your intuition and the star. The things, it's about to go public. Aquarius energy. Yep. The secret is out, and it's going to go public. You should have listened to your intuition, or they should have. Not mess with none of this, because it's going to go big. 
Oh, that made my throat hurt. Hold on one second. Cannot run justice of the divine. You cannot run the wheel of fortune. Cannot run the world card. You can try, but good luck. All right, what is a potential outcome, please? You want to have hope and faith here, but the secret's coming out and it's going to go public. And there could be someone who's in the public eye as well. This could very well be a big deal. You might be in the public eye. You might be losing a lot. You might have risked a lot for what? To be addicted addicted to lies or addicted to obs obsessions or addicted to sex or addicted to porn or addicted to validation, um, you know, attention. Um, vanity, vainglory, addicted to vainglory. Okay, show me a potential outcome, please. <laughs> you chose wrong. You are. The, you, it's either you did this for goat, or your person did this. Whomever did it, did chose very wrong. What is the potential outcome of this reading, please, sir? If everything was to stay on present course as it is right now. Yep, King of Swords in reverse. Lies, deception. Also, someone's gonna be really harsh. Okay. Or this could just talk about someone who's not going to be listening to the lies and deception. Someone's going to be very harsh. Aquarius energy. Also Libra Gemini. Okay. The sun. Because there's stuff that's still hidden. Leo energy. Queen of Wands. There's a, there is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Leo here. That is hiding a lot of shit. King of Cups and being very emotionally manipulative. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh... Wow. All right. Show me the sun reverse, please. Show me the sun reverse. You could have two options. You could have three options, Virgo. You could have a Aquarius or a Gemini Libra. You could have an Aries Leo Sagittarius. You could have a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or another Earth sign. Okay. Sun reverse. Six of Wands in reverse. Empty victory. Keeping things a secret was an empty victory. Knight of Swords because the truth Libra energy Harsh, brutal truth or Aquarius is rushing in, going the fuck off with the sword of truth, brutality. I just heard finish him. Yep. And we ace of wands in reverse. No love, no creation, no abundance, no passion, no new love. Cut it out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep. Make a decision. Two of swords, nine of wands. Needing to have, make a decision to have boundaries. Because you go from one, dropping one to having nine. So dropping new romance, a fire sign possibly, to uh, making a decision to have boundaries. Anything else for potential outcome, please, of this reading for Virgos and our cross watchers? Okay, yep, lovers. Having boundaries with lovers, Gemini, you have more than one option. Because you got somebody here that's going to see you with somebody else. Or it could be two men and a woman, or, or it could be, you know, two women and a man. Whatever your preference is. It could be all same sex. But somebody here is going to catch somebody in the act. Yep, seven of wands in reverse, and there's no defense against it. Mm -mm. Anything else for potential outcome? Yep. Um, oh boy. Okay. Two of cups. Yep. While somebody is married or has a committed relationship, it doesn't have to be marriage. It could be common law, or it could just be a long-standing relationship or a committed relationship, an exclusive committed relationship. Mm -mm. There's no defense. Anything else for potential outcome, please? Yep. Three of swords reverse. Someone's going to have to recover from this after the truth is revealed. Seven of coins in the reverse. Virgo energy. Someone's not going to get a return on their investment. Three of coins here. It was a, uh, someone has, someone was having a workplace affair of some kind or somehow. Unstable. Someone was also abusive. Someone here. Virgo energy of three men here as well. The devil. Someone's releasing the devil. Ace of cups. There is no love anymore. Someone's getting a divorce possibly. Getting out of their head about it. Um, they, cause somebody here was very noncommittal. They're letting them go. Four of coins, ace of swords, the truth has been spoken. The tower, Scorpio, Aries energy is coming in. Hermit in reverse. You're out of your element. You're not getting the lessons, having to repeat them again. Not seeing truth and clarity here. Selfishness. And someone's walking away from you. Yep. With the chariot, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, cancer, two of wands, making the decision to heal without you and focus on their money. Okay, wow. <laughs> that was intense. Okay. All right. Well, that's next week. Hopefully that doesn't... Remember, everything's set at free will, okay? Let me uh, clean this up real quick, and we'll get um, some Oracle cards for you.
Wow. Holy moly, that was intense. You could be messing with someone's got red hair. You could be lying about somebody who has red hair. You could be lying to your person about a woman or a man that's got red hair. Okay. Oracle cards. Let's see. see any guidance please for photos and or cross watchers please any guidance please any guidance please mirror it says mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection yep anything else for virgos and our cross watchers guidance please key with the heart Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. Well, nothing's ever perfect. You and your person are mirroring each other, Virgo. Big time. Now, I don't really resonate with the twin flame thing. Because I believe everybody's our soulmate and everybody's our twin flame at some point. We all have to be complete within ourselves. But this did come out. Twin flame, yin, yang, zen, balance, yin, yin, duality, coupling, complement each other. We also got the chaser. The chaser in a codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. And then we have girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Yep, you could be, this isn't, someone could say this is a twin flame. It may not be. Someone's a chaser and someone is a narcissist. Um, this also could be um, engagement reign. In reverse, someone could be breaking off an engagement. Someone's going to be finding out the truth here soon. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Any other guidance, please, for my Virgos and my cross watchers, please, regarding this relationship? I do not believe in the twin flame shit, okay? I'm just letting you know. I mean, I, I believe everybody's our soulmate, and everybody's a twin flame. Um, it's not that we are, each of us are complete on our own. It's just some of us, where we came into existence, our soul, a little bit closer to one another, and that's it. Anything else for Virgos and our cross watchers for guidance and love? Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Anything else? Ooh. Unrequited love. Yep. Chaser. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Here we go. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Anything else? Okay. Attraction. Yes, someone's got new attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And then... Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Oh, bottom of the deck, we got romantic feelings. So someone's got new romantic feelings elsewhere. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And let me get you some new knowledge real quick. Okay, anything else, please, for his guidance for Virgos and our cross watchers, please, regarding this reading? Anything else for Virgos, please? You have a new start is coming, new moon. Virgos. Oh, and our cross watchers. Adjustments are required. Yep. Um, I think it's gonna come out. Um, you and your loved ones are safe. What do you need to release? And conclusions are within reach within reach. Yep, there's ending, there's a major ending coming. All right. So I hope this has helped you, Virgos, and our cross watchers. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. And as always, please take care of yourself. Until next time.